My friend, welcome back. I'm going to point out our flaws, which apparently we're really good at doing, and I'm going to share with you three big mistakes that we make almost every morning. The first one is, is we hit the snooze button. When you do this, you are literally convincing your body that you're ready for more sleep. When this happens, your body can't predict when's the actual appropriate time for you to wake up, and so it affects your sleeping patterns. And so when you do eventually get out of bed, your body's already full with a whole lot of sleep hormones, which means that even after a few hours of you waking up, you're still feeling tired, you're still feeling really lethargic. So in other words, basically, it's scientifically pointless to press snooze. Number two, checking your phone as soon as you wake up in the morning. I love this analogy, but checking your phone in the morning is like allowing a hundred people to walk into your room and say hi to you as soon as you wake up. I don't know what you're like in the morning, but I know for sure that if a hundred people walked into my room while I just woke up, I would be very flustered, very annoyed, and very, very frustrated at them and at the whole world. <laughs> in essence, it's kind of what we're doing. You see, when we first wake up, our brain moves from delta to theta to alpha waves. And when we check our phone first thing in the morning and we're getting hit with all these notifications, what happens is, is that it's like our brain skips all these levels of brain waves and it goes straight into like full attention, full concentration, full awake mode. It's like we've gone pedal to the metal first thing in the morning. And in my experience, when I check my phone in the morning, I've always found that my day ends up being extremely distracted. But when I don't check my phone, it means that I feel like I'm a whole lot more in control and I can navigate my life a lot better. My whole day ends up being a lot more productive and I feel like at the end of it, a lot more fulfilled and like I've actually done some meaningful stuff. And onto the third and last point, drinking coffee first thing in the morning. I know you're a coffee lover, I am, but I'd highly recommend that you save it for later on in the day. Our bodies naturally produce cortisol, which wakes us up and gets us energized at around about 8 to 9 a.m. in the morning. It is essentially giving the same effect as coffee. And so when you have your coffee in the morning, you're essentially not getting your coffee's worth of a caffeine hit. And so you're actually better off having your coffee at around about midday where your cortisol levels actually dip. I've been trying this and I've been reflecting on it and I've found that the days where I have my coffee in the morning, like as soon as I wake up, I've always found that I've had a massive dip towards the late afternoon where I feel extremely tired and I feel like I could probably have a nap. But when I have my coffee at around about 12, 1 or 2 p.m. in the afternoon, then I found my energy levels throughout the day to be a lot more sustained and a lot more even. And then I end up getting tired right at the end of the day when I'm meant to be kind of winding down and starting to get ready for bed. And so that's it. We kept it nice and short today. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I wish you all the best. Have a great day. Have a good morning. Have a good night, wherever you are in the world. I wish you all the love, all the power and all the strength. See you in the next one.